AFTV, Kalechi, what a great win tonight. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait before you even get started. What's that song? Ah, that is Bankuli featuring notes. That's that's your notes in the UK. No, that's notes three S notes. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix on, uh, Translate. What were they, talking, what were they singing about? No, it's, it's foreign. That everything that they do is foreign. <laughs> I know, I know my guy Bankuli and uh, what's Kim Kardashian's husband? They are very good friends. Uh, what's his name? Kanye West. So, and Bankuli, the guy featured in Beyonce's album as well. So that's the kind of people we wrote. <laughs> but listen, it was a, it was a, it was a fantastic win tonight. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm happy with the boys. Uh, I felt um, we, 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 I mean, we were on it from the first minute, you know, with the chance that Lacazette missed. Obviously, he hurt everybody and then they scored. But I think the main thing that was that we, we equalized almost immediately, like with, well, within four minutes. And that took the pressure off us and we were able to play our game. And we kind of um, played the Southampton game at them. We, can't, we were pressing them high. We were, you know, doing everything. When we had to counter, we countered. But that shows you again the importance of Smith Rowe. That's why when he went off, I was almost in tears. You know, <laughs> the game seemed like he had a sad end for me because I was expecting him hopefully to finish the game. But it shows why he wasn't even playing on Saturday. It shows why people like Patty yeah, were on the You know what, right? You know what, right? You've just touched on something, right? That now I haven't heard nobody really mentioning this tonight. Mm. And I'm wondering if any of those critics of the lineup on Saturday saying that we should have played the full first team if they have that same energy today. Because you saw Smith Rowe coming off. I don't think it was a serious, serious injury because he didn't go straight down the tunnel. He went up into the stand. So I'm hopeful that that's just like a bit of tightness or a cramp. We saw Partey come off cramp. Mm -hmm. We saw um, players in Southampton like Walcott, um, Danny Ings, those guys who played the full 90 look absolutely out on their feet, you know. Um, so was Arteta, I know we're out, so you can't say you can't say he was right in playing that team, but can you understand why he of made course. changes when you see, you know, you see that sort of fatigue? Of course, I mean, in my interview on Saturday, I said it, that's exactly what I said, I could see the reasons. Not much as I felt that, yeah, it was a touch heavy, but there were so many mitigating circumstances with the injuries, or um, all bad sudden, um, you know, family, um, something that happened, and we still wish him here, we are supporting him, and this, obviously, this victory is for him and his family. But that might, you know, that had to make the coach make a, a, a kind of a change and then do a rethink about his formation and his lineup. So it was really understandable. When people went to Vabor, I still feel hurt till now that went off from the FA Cup because I love to win trophies. I felt it was there for the taking. But with the circumstances we have, is a is a COVID season, is a brief season, no preseason. The kids, and you could see his statement with BT Sport. So he's going to protect the kids. You know, they are they are playing fifty games, fifty games. So he's, he has his right to protect the kids. So I can understand the 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 formation. I mean, the the, the lineup on Saturday, and the injuries today, or the tightness or cramps could. I mean, it shows it shows. You know, so to his defense and to his credit, he's done well there and. He didn't backfire. He won the game. So he's clearly looking up the table and saying, oh, between fourth and eighth, where we are is four points. Then we can push for that, you know, with less games, say, you know, with, uh, without the FA Cup. So maybe he's taking that gamble in the first stage today. It has paid off for him. So big ups to the coach, you know. But again, I want to focus on the boys on the pitch. They were the boys that also did the job, like boys like Saka, who have, he's Mr. Consistent. He has been consistent in all the games he has been, he has been consistent. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new. Big up um, to Pate. I mean, I say Pate as yes, well, but Pepe. Pepe did two things in this game. One, the goal he got back immediately. Two, not rushing off the pitch. That yellow card was ridiculous. He saw his teammate down and slowed down. 
that is the right thing to do. Yeah, you and I think we were all saying in the stream that they mm. should possibly rescind that yellow card. Of course. He, 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 he done the sensible thing. He done the sensible thing. You understand? But the referee was eager, like his hand was eager him to give yellow card. Like I told you, the referees in England, I don't know, they need to up their levels. Common sense would tell him that. Look at, and he was pointing and he said, my teammate is on the floor. He might force the manager to rethink. And that's what the manager did. Although when he was uh, taking out the immediate, he ran off immediately because he didn't want a second year look at which was fun. But yeah, but yeah, I, I, I give him credit for that. Those are, I mean, I mean, and immediately William came on and then we scored immediately. So he influenced the game and Pepe, you know, both going off the pitch and scoring the goal. And one of his better games, you know, for Arsenal as well. You know, mm. the way he held off the defender to score the goal, it shows a bit of physicality, you understand. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with I'm really happy with his um, gameplay. And that player who doesn't get called often, Rob Holden. Mm. Good today. Heading every ball was fantastic. Was fantastic. Mm. <laughs> have to be fantastic. Um, Saturday's the big one. Man United, they will pro probably come to us top of the league. They've been on fire. Um, and that's going to be a huge game. If we could get something out of that, wow, what would that do for the confidence of the team? Yes, you're spot on about that. Just that the injuries, I hope they are not serious and uh, they're just cramp and stuff and they can't play because with Smith in the team, we look a different team, a totally different team. And if it was there on Saturday, we would have been in the, in the next round. It's that easy as I can confidently say that. He's that good. But we have to, you know, this mitigating circumstances, can William step in? You know, he will need to really improve it. Although he had his hand in the in the third goal when he came on. So I have to give him a bit of credit for that. Um, you know, some, I mean, hopefully Pate will be okay. And then we'll go for it. It's our home. We've beaten um, United this season already. It was not a fluke. We deserve the victory. And if we mm -hmm. put in a very, very solid performance, why not? I mean, I know they have a perfect away record or near perfect away record. They play very well. It's no fluke that they're on top of the league. And yeah, huge congrats to them. Only that shows you when you give manager time, he will perform. You know, mm -hmm. I was not happy with leave all the bands and stuff. I was happy with Lampard stacking. You need to give managers. They can't buy 200 million worth of players and expect them to gel in, in four months. It doesn't work like that. This is not, this is not, I don't know, this is not a, a card game. You know, it's football. You understand? You know, and then, well, good luck to them as well. But it was the fact, so give the managers time, give Ateta time, give all of them time. They're young managers trying to make their, their name in the game. You know, so hopefully when they come, hopefully, you know, We'll win the game. I'm, I'm sure the boys will be on fire. You know, I I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be a very good game for the neutrals <laughs> and a very good game for us as well. So, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll win it. We'll win it. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to see how do you guys pronounce it. You know me, I'm not good at names. Is it Odegaard? Odegaard, yeah. Odegaard. Hopefully, we'll get to see Odegaard on Saturday. You know, if Smith is not fit, maybe Odegaard can do a job for us. Who knows? You know? Depends on how he performs in training and his fitness as well. So we are, we are, we are for it. AFTV Picks, the new exclusive free-to-play betting tool app for football fans everywhere. Every week, test your skills and knowledge against Robbie and the AFTV fans and stand to win prizes and cash. And wait for it. It's all free.